Okay, hello, and welcome back to Warhammer 2 Total War. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. First, I'm going to clean the biscuit out of my teeth. Um, no, first, okay, um, <laughs> I'll start this sentence at some point. We just finished the... Return of the Lich Master playthrough, or 10 uh, episode playthrough. That was a lot of fun. And I was thinking that we would do the Forest Goblins here, or Black Venom Tribe, Tinnit, Four Eyes. Now, I'm aware that the Chaos Dwarves have had several updates very recently. Um, they have their Lords in campaign, even. Uh, as well as their uh, build trees changed. <clears throat> and I certainly would like to do <clears throat> the Chaos Dwarves soon. However, uh, they still don't have their legendary lords. And I think there's going to be a few more updates to them in the following days. From the looks of it, because... Order Shaky Rivers and uh, Deco Decomposed, I think it is. It's Decomposed. Pardon me. Uh, I better get this right, otherwise it's my head on the wall. Uh, head on the pike. Uh, yep, decomposed. Expanded roster chaos dwarves. Uh, <laughs> it's jokes. Um, they're working on getting the chaos dwarves up and running. However, it's just not quite where I'm going. Feel like I'm going to play it, though I'm very anxious too. So I think I'll give it a little, a, a little more time. Before we do that, in the interim, I thought, as a, it was a request which I had, we would play through a, a bit as forest goblins. And from what I've seen so, um, in the factions, Black Venom is probably the best suited for that. I have actually played a little bit of them on my own. Um, this is a lord added by the... Hold on. <laughs> I'm always going to have to check these mods because it. I just have so many of them and I can't keep them in mind. It might be Project Resurrection Art Legendary Lords. Mm. Let's see. Uh, uh, that adds Red Iron Claw. Does it not add? Tin it four eyes? Rakarth, the Beast Lord, Hag Queen, Melita. No, apparently not. Um, is there another one? I mean, I've got several mods which add extra lords. It's not mixing with legendary lords one or two, I don't think. Let me have a look at those. Um, always make it a point to properly call out the mods. Let's see. Uh, no, that's, yeah, that's, uh, mostly. Yeah, what's this one? Uh, Greenskins. Gorefang Rockgut. Nope, not that either. Hmm. Hmm. Is it We Special? It might be We Special. Hey, there we go. It's the Wee's Special mod. That's W-E, comma, Z. S P E S H U L by Lost to Insanity. Uh, it adds uh, several characters, not just legendary lords, also legendary heroes. Uh, available in Mortal Empires, Greenskins, legendary hero pool, Borgut Facebeater, play as Grimgore Ironhide for him. Uh, Bloody Hands, a legendary lord, Grokka Gorax, you play as Wurzag, Black Venom, faction leader, Tinnit Four Eyes. Blue Vipers, Faction Leader, Grack Beast Basher, which we can see uh, just somewhere along here. There. Uh, if you want to play as the Savage Orcs. Uh, we also get a uh, Legendary Hero, who we'll see once we start the campaign as the Black Venoms. Um, I think maybe it also adds a... I remember seeing in the campaign when I was playing as the Return of the Lichmaster, there was an extra character added to the Crooked Moon tribe. 
Oh yeah, Crooked Moon. Here we go. Legendary Lord Pool. Duff Skull plays Skarsnick. So there we go. Uh, so yes, I suppose I'll be putting the uh, this is the Wii's special mod. But yeah, we'll be playing as Tinnit Four Eyes, worshiping the Spider God. Suitable climate is temperate. Ambush success chance is plus fifty percent. All armies. So we'll be really sneaky. Wii's the sneakiest gets. Upkeep, minus 40% for goblins and night goblin units, all armies. Uh, I'll actually be making use of two mods here, really, because, um, because the Wii special mod allows you, it gives you this forest goblin themed lord to play as. However, I be don't believe it actually gives you any forest goblin units. However, I have expanded rosters, uh, greenskins, the goblins part of it, because it's split into orcs and goblins. Uh, which adds a whole bunch of forest goblin units for the uh, goblins. Basically just forest goblin swords, forest goblin archers, from what I remember. As well as maybe a hero or lord. I think it's a lord? Anyway, we'll be able to make a properly themed army. It does mean I'm going to be very restricted on the units I can make. But, you know, hey, we've got goblins, we've got goblin archers, forest goblin archers, forest goblin swords or whatever. Uh, we've got to get the, uh, Forest Goblin Spider Riders, the uh, Spider Rider Archers, and also Arachnorok Spiders. There's also groups of, uh, little spiders, and we've been kind of forced into this because I uh, keep plus 40% for Orc units, but I'm going to play two theme, so it's just goblins. Early on, I'm going to have to be using normal goblins because Forest Goblins are, I believe, Tier 3 Barracks units. But I'm not going to be able to get them from the offset. Chocolate all over my... <laughs> the hazards are dunking a massive biscuit. Now I kind of want a wagon wheel. <laughs> Forest goblins usually get poison. Hill goblins are slightly stronger. But don't get poison. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There will also be hill goblins because of the uh, expanded rosters mod. But we won't be making use of those because they're not forest goblins. They don't worship the spider god. <laughs> uh, Lord's effects, charge bonus plus 15 for spider riders, spider rider archers, and arachnorock spider units. Okay, let's get started. That's enough of me yakking. The ivory scalp of the Black Bigness was a much feared sight in Drakwald, for it heralded not only an imminent arachnorock attack, but also the deadly shamanic energies that crackled from Tinnit's wizened hands. Ugh. Okay. Very interesting, also. For the uh, sake of people on YouTube, I'm going to pause the recording here so that you don't have to wait for this, because I know sometimes people say, oh, God, five minutes of loading. So <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. And I start the recording again. Oh, it pops up. <clears throat> this is more configuration tools. This was, I installed this for the mod, which allows you to recruit uh, defeated legendary lords. I don't have that active. I should actually make a mention, because I do have a variety of other mods active at the moment. Um, let me see. Can I bring that up? Let's see. Window capture. Yep. And, because it's easier for me to talk about it if I bring up my uh, mod manager. There we go. Okay, so here's a list of all the mods which I'm playing with. I'll just try and go quickly through the ones which I have, which are new for this uh, session. Um, so we have Chaos Dwarves. That's not new. That's not new. That's not new. That's not new. DiCaprio's Minor High Elven Lords. This is a new one. It has four High Elf Lords. Uh, if we ever go to Ulth 1, we'll be able to see them. Uh, they were visible in the... Uh, uh, in the what's it called? In the Lord Choice part over before. I didn't actually call them out but yeah that's there um southern realms return of lich master this is the wee special mod this is what's allowing us to play as the uh tinnit four eyes but i had this in previous playthroughs as well uh i have expanded roster amazons now um that's active it was because I was testing the Amazons to see whether the units this added were actually added to the OV and Lost Factions mod. And I think when I tried it, they didn't actually get added. I haven't looked at it since then, but in custom battles, Amazons would actually have a full roster. I think it's just in campaign they don't. Um, 
chances of us seeing the Amazons are extremely low. But that's there. Uh, I've had this for a while too, Celestial Hurricaneum, which we haven't seen either. I don't think the Empire actually recruited one last time. No, they didn't. We didn't get to see that. Uh, Kislev, Greenskin, Orcs pack. That's the same. Goblin pack. This is what will add the uh, Forest Goblin units for us. Um... Sorry, I'm just looking at my mouse to see. Uh, interesting, it doesn't actually catch when I go over the uh, game. Um, land Encounters is still there. I've actually deactivated pretty much all the mods which add the random armies. Uh, Chaos Counts was the last one, and after looking at the end of the Return of the Lichmaster campaign, <clears throat> at the uh, multiple stacks of Chaos Armies which had spawned through over the campaign and were stuck on top of each other, I decided to turn it off. I still really like the idea of the mod. It's just if it's creating armies constantly and they're just sitting there, uh, stuck under each other, then I feel that's going to slow things down a bit. Or at least the armies are going to be causing issues and I don't really... I feel it's probably better without it. So unfortunately I have disabled Chaos Camps as well as Insidious Corruption, uh, Those Savages... And so on. Because I like the idea of them. I just feel maybe they need a little bit more refining. Um, there's the Empire Galloper Guns mod that I'm not using. As far as I know, the Galloper Guns, which were, I think are added to the Southern Realms, since they're not a unit for the Empire on the tabletop, I haven't gotten the mod which adds them for the Empire. Because they were always, to me, kind of a thing just for the Southern Realm. Um, oh, I'm some more. I think I had that previous before as well. Um, let me see. That's the same. Marienburg Landship. We didn't actually get to see that. Um, Ovian Chaos Dwarves. This is what allows you to play as the uh, Chaos Dwarves with the um, army list because it like bridges the gap between Ovian Lost Factions and the uh, expanded roster Chaos Dwarves mod. Um, VFX mod, it adds a, bunch, a, a few small visual effects to some units around the map. This is what allows us to have the uh, soup tank with their soup attacks. Since this is a new campaign, we'll actually be able to see the Kathleen soup tank if they recruit one, and it should use this new model, which will be nice. I still have stakes for peasants. I haven't had too much issue with it, really. It opens up the gates, but other than that, you know, it's, it's fine. I have Shaw Muscles Chaos and uh, Elven Lords active here. This could be a little bit overpowered, but I was having a look at them. It's very few units, and uh, yeah, you know, it just adds a few extra things to Chaos. So that could be fun to see. The Elven Lords also, it's just a few extra Lords for Chaos, which look quite nice, so I have that active. Um, Anything else? There's this one, Wood Elves. The Wood Elves, which changes a few things for them. I think it gives, like, Seasons for Orion and all that. It's mostly for Orion. This is something I activated when I was trying several playthroughs as Aguilan, uh, the Forest Spirits. Sadly, there's not really any mods which expand on Durthu. Uh, I think Mixu's Legendary Lords 1 adds Dryker, but there's not much more other than that. From what I've been able to see, which add anything to uh, the forest spirits side of things for the Wood Elves. Because I like the idea of running around with armies of angry trees and dryads and all that. And I've had quite a bit of success in my um, few campaigns of just doing that. Just swamping the enemy and dryads and tree kin. Just something which maybe fixes the Wood Elves a little bit so they're, it's easier to hold ter territory. <laughs> Um, and that's about it. Yeah, that's it. Um. Yep. Oh, there was also the Chaos Within, which I've turned off. Gives regions with high Chaos Corruption a chance of spawning a Chaos Army, but that's off. Um. I have had a look at Belisarian's Rise of Dragons. This is quite nice. It adds a faction which is headed by a dragon and all that, but I've deactivated it because it doesn't play nice with the several other mods. So, if I want to play with that, I have to deactivate, I think, Ovian Lost Factions, because it starts in a location which has changed 
buy that other mod and maybe another one or two. So, yes. Anyway, that will be enough of that. The Chaos mod is cool, but the Elven Lords you don't like, they're basically Lord of the Rings characters. I haven't seen too much of the High Elf characters, or the the Elven characters, because it actually adds, I think, a bunch of High Elf characters, some Wood Elf characters, and a Dark Elf character. The model works nice, I haven't actually seen too much. If we ever get over to where the Elves are, we'll be able to see that. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, here's our Lord, Tinnit Four Eyes. We have Forest Goblin Spider Riders, the Death Creepers, which are a regiment of renowned spider riders, and we start with an Arachnorock Spider, as well as some Goblin Archers and Goblins. So Tinnit Four Eyes. He can get a Giant Wolf. He can also get Black Bigness. Black Bigness marches to war only under the gaze of Tinnit Four Eyes, an ancient terror of the Drakwald that heralds the coming of Tinnit's Horde. We also get to catch wind catch web spider shrine uh, with a catch web spider shrine mounted to the platform of their arachnorock spider a goblin great shaman hopes to draw the eye of the spider god and he be blessed with more effective magical spells gives us some bonuses to our little wars magic he is a shaman uh, venom tongue gifts of the spider god since reducing cost we do have a unique spell that's right gift of the spider god Hissing and burying his own fangs, the shaman calls upon the spider god for its wicked aid. As if in re answer to his call, nearby allies seem to take on a spider-like aspect. I believe models which were made for the forest goblins actually gave them occasionally things like fangs and multiple eyes and possibly even multiple arms and all that. Um, as they were blessed by their spider god. An interesting thing is I think the forest goblins worship the spider god rather than Gork and Mork. Uh, they don't see it even as an aspect of Gorgawalk, it's its own god. So we are uh, greenskins which worship each giant sp the spider god. <laughs> which is very weird, but hey. Um, Oh, the spiders. This just gives poison attacks to all of our units. I feel it could be a bit more than that. I mean, it's basically just, uh, what's it called? Pestilent weapons, which this game and get. This one. Oh, blessed with filth. Is that the same? Minus, yeah, let's see. 20, 24, 20. Uh, 20, 24, 20. Yeah, yeah, it's just poison. Not different poison. Sneaky stabbing, sneaky stealing, vindictive glare, Gork will fix it. Night shroud, curse of the bad moon, and arcane conduit. Maybe it'd be nice if we had a spell which summoned some spiders. I think maybe we actually have an ability which does that. Yeah. Herald of the Spider God. Enables po poison attacks. Uh, forest Goblin Shaman commune with their eight-legged deity through poison-induced trances, and those deemed worthy enough may receive its insidious blessing. It's just little gits. Creepy crawlers, creeping assault, extra thick carapace, and unleash the spiders. <laughs> okay. So... That's about it. We start off with Karak Angazhar, also Steingart. Chances are Steingart's going to get taken from us because it's all the way over there. We only have the one army. Uh, Be careful, my lord doesn't have armor, does he? Oh, no, he doesn't. He's got no armor at all. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, So let's see. I'm going to try and stay to theme and just get Forest Goblin units, which, as I said, will mean Forest Goblins bows, Forest Goblins spears. I don't... Do we have Forest Goblins with swords? We do. Forest Goblins sword infantry. Um, that means nothing else, basically. Forest Goblin spider riders, spider rider archers, spider swarms, arachnorock spider. Um, I don't think even, like, rock lobbers. Probably not trolls. I don't think we have a forest goblin hero, so I probably would get goblin big bosses. Because I. Can you put them on a spider? Maybe. You can put the, uh. Goblin shaman on a spider. 
Uh, maybe we can't get that here? We might need a bigger settlement for that. We can get beast layers. Reduces upkeep of spider units. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm probably going to reduce, remove this building, because it's... No, hang on. Early on, as I said, early on, actually. We get our basic goblin units from the uh, settlement here, so... Probably remove this. I could get snotlings. <laughs> These Gretchen are mostly used to servants in the Greenskin Society. In battle, they rely on their small size and sheer numbers to swarm the enemy. I'll allow myself to get snotlings, because they're hilarious. Um... So yeah, that, that, that. You think the rock lobber would be okay? Maybe? I mean, we're spiders. We can climb over the walls. That's the idea. <laughs> Does the Arachnorok spider get walls, uh, wall destroyer? Oh, it doesn't. No. Maybe I can allow myself giants so that we can smack through walls. At least a normal giant. So we can make use of wall breaker. That would be pretty fun. Um, I would never make armies of spy oh, armies of giants. Um, but I would like if the Arachnorok spider had wall destroyer. Maybe. <laughs> I know it wouldn't really knock down walls on its own. It would more climb over them. We do have an ability which is trying to emulate that. Creeping assault. Enemy siege hold out time minus five. And attrition suffered by defenders plus 15%. Able to climb walls and scree through tight spaces makes giant spiders ideal for assaulting garrisons and taking its occupants by surprise. We're also going to be having to make use of heroes with their wall destroyability. Ooh, legendary hero. We'll get this guy. Snaggler Grob Spit. Undulating cry. <laughs> Leadership aura size plus 30%. Leadership plus 8 for forest goblin units. Hero's army. Let's get stabby. Okay, go into Karak and, and, and Gazar. Recruit those gobos. And... I'm actually going to get the Spider Swarm. Rather than the Snotlings. As hilarious as it would be. Spider Swarm. When a forest goblin tribe goes to war, it will often bring swarms of spiders to attack their enemies. These are like the spider hatchlings which the Arachnorok Spider Regiment of Renown gets. But these aren't summons. They're expendable. They're pretty weak. They're kind of fast. Not as fast as uh, wolf riders. But hey, they're spiders. They got low morale too, 38. Anyway. Snag like Rob Spit. He gets Fang Spike and Sting as unique weapons. Uh, Hatred Empire, Dodgy Giza. I think he starts on a mount. Uh, Bloody Blade. That's the same. Death Creeper Big Boss. Upkeep minus 100% for Death Creepers. That's a Regiment of Renown unit. Recruitment cost minus 100% for Death Creepers. Because I think he's the lead. I would assume he's the leader of them. Ambush success chance plus 50% Heroes Army. From the shadows. We're going to have to be ambushing so much. Would we have it any other way? Why don't you make the army thematic by Lord? Hmm? Tidit Forai is a forest goblin. He's a forest goblin shaman. We can get other forest goblins, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> yeah, forest goblin war boss. I might get goblin great shamans. As bosses as well. But forest goblin war bosses will be any other lords I get. Uh, since we don't have like a forest goblin great shaman or anything else. Anyway. Um, I am going to get rid of that building because I want something else and we'll get goblin tinker crew We're gonna have to go out to spider worship as quickly as possible Goblin workshop that requires Which we can't get and a goblin tinkerer bench. We're gonna have to take Carrick Hearn Oh Rick Redolfson. Oh boy. Also as I said Steingart over here We're probably going to lose it very quickly. I'm gonna build a pile of shiny stuff they might not attack it straight out. Maybe we can make a bit of money off of it. But I only have one army, and I'm not going to recruit an army over there. So, off we go. Yep, they attacked it. 
Oh, and they just raised it. Okay. <laughs> Fine, be like that. They're like, no, we don't want this province. Oh, wait, do you mean thematic by lord, like, I get an orc lord, and that can be an orcish army? Or something like that. Because I could get night goblin lords and get night goblins. If that's what you mean. I think we'll stick to forest goblins. It's not an efficient way of play, but I like playing to theme. Because I like the restrictions. Like when I was playing as a Gwilin, and we just have, and I was just having forest spirits. Because it is... Not the way the game's supposed to be played. However, I find it very amusing. Oh, jeez. Uh, hello. Welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm afraid I can't understand what you're saying. I don't know what language that is. Oh, hang on. That's uh, Vietnamese, is it? Maybe? <laughs> I apologize. I'm sorry. Hello? I'm a- oh, it's Turkish. Okay. I'm a- hello? Welcome? Welcome, welcome. I'm afraid if you're here, you're gonna- you pro I, I kind of would respect that- I would ask if you, uh, speak English rather than Turkish. Just for the benefit of every- oh, other streamers. Uh, of other viewers. Hello. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much for that raid. Uh, the, what's it? The old, old Ugu Billingman Canal. Thank you. It's fine. It's fine. It's just, just so that I can understand. Just so I can understand what people are saying. Um, anyway. Quite a lot of people. No. Nope. <laughs> Street pets and you mysteriously came here. Hmm. Well, I appreciate it all the same. Thank you very much. Um, okay. So, we're, we're just playing as forest goblins in Warhammer 2 Total War. Um, I'll put Snaggler Grove Spike in here. And... And get that, and another goblin, and some more spiders, and we'll end turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh dear. You play causing uh, stream to crash. <laughs> Oh dear, how unfortunate. Um, I don't have much experience with you play myself. Anyway, um... So let's see, what are we going to want here? Obedience? Untainted? No, we're not having a problem with uh, corruption. I want growth. Yeah, I want growth. We'll get idols. And... We have three goblins, I'll get another one. You, and we'll get some more spiders. Yep. Good. And end turn. Let's build up our army here. So that we can, uh... <laughs> deal some damage? Oh, Fort Sol's been raised. I wonder who did that. Look at those turn times. Oh, it's so great. Now. Um. Look. One more turn. Get those. And then we'll go and attack. I don't have enough melee units. So I have way too many archers, though. So I kind of think the archers are more effective units than the, uh, green skins. Than the, uh, goblin spearmen <laughs> units. <laughs> oh. It's just. Because they're... they're <laughs> but yeah, I, I try to keep a good balance between uh, melee and ranged. Ooh, see that? The Albion has a uh, new flag. The tribe's ready. 
Okay. For the wisdom of Valea. It's going to be difficult to attack the green skin, uh, attack the dwarves. But we'll try it. Maybe we can get big Dal Von, Von Goldbarak. Before they too, too many issues. If they're effective, they will get crushed though. Yeah. They're, uh... <clears throat> they're not very good in melee, but... <laughs> We're not going to be, like, presenting a front line. I, uh, the idea is we'll be running circles around the enemy and picking them off. Battles are going to be a lot of, uh... Sneaky stabbings. Okay. Do I want this? Oh, boy. This way. What is this? I gotta wait. It's most likely that army is going to be far too powerful for me to take on. Uh, go to here. And set up a raiding camp. I forgot to embed the hero. Hmm? No, I didn't. Got snag and a grob spitting there. Um, <laughs> thanks for the reminder, though. Uh, let's see, minus four, plus one, cause Skaven corruption. Where's Skaven? Must be an undercity somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Continue moving down to Migdal von Goldberg. And we'll try and deal with these greenskins. Uh, these dwarves, not greenskins. If we take this entire area, <clears throat> we'll be able to use it as a power base. I need a capital so that we can get our better units. These minor settlements are not good enough. I think in my last try, I attacked Batorka down there. But... Hmm... Yes, raw, raw, <laughs> smash, kill. You have until the sands run from this glass to bark your nonsense. <laughs> I've never heard that. I've never heard Balthazar Gelt talking to the Greenskins. A face such as yours would make for an interesting gilded statue. I have a spell for that, you know. <laughs> Tell me, Greenskin, once I have endured your rantings, what is to prevent me reducing you to a pile of smoking ash? <laughs> I've never heard these lines before. You stand before the Supreme Patriarch like an ant before the descending boot. He's a bit full of himself. Tell me, Greens. Yeah. Tell me. Gre Anything else? Tell me. Tell me. Interesting. The Bright Order are seeking targets for their initiates to practice on. And here you are. Hmm. Okay. Neat. Now they'll say. Okay. Uh, we'll move up. It's real. Go over there. And in camp. Uh, good tree, hold fast. We don't have a garrison. But we'll try and deal that next time. Hello, welcome. Ah. Just starting a forest goblins campaign. Uh. That means all the spiders. They're just so adorable. With their hard chitin and dribbly fangs and <laughs> multiple legs. <laughs> They're like eight-legged kittens, yes, isn't that what it is? Um... For the wisdom of Valea. Hey, Snaggler, you went up a level. Get Bloody Blade. Do I want Scavenge? The extra money would help. Ooh, you get damage walls. Actually, I'm going to put a point into damage walls. We're going to be making good use of this. The more holes we can make in the enemy's walls, the better. Adorable, <laughs> in quotation marks. Don't push me. They are adorable. Okay, set up another raiding camp. Eight-legged kittens? Yeah, spiders. <laughs> They're like fuzzy eight-legged kittens. <laughs> right, I ain't looking at your eyes. They freak me. 
<laughs> oh. Yeah, you weird, you weird vampire thing. Like Shaky J out like you. Perhaps a pact, or even a treaty, if that sounds more agreeable. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh. You should have come here. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting into the theming of things. Oh. Uh, pink like a kitten. It's not cute. Oh. That's not what I meant. It's like cute pictures of like spiders. Let me see. Oh, never mind. It's like cute pictures of like spiders with big, with big eyes. <laughs> um, tunnel boss. Hit it four eyes. What am I going to get on you? Sneaky stabbing. The tribe's ready. Um. Okay. Time to declare. Yeah. Okay. Attack. Oh, you don't even have walls. So we don't need to do that. Declare war. Hmm? This. Is this it? I hope this is a bit more. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> it's a it's a spider with massive eyes. I get it. That's much cuter. Uh, where is it? Yeah, like this. It's adorable. Oh. <laughs> uh. Or this one. I only show off it. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Okay. Get out of here. Yes, stupid dwarf things. Good lord. What is that? I'm sorry. That is a massive. <laughs> that is a massive wall of Link. <laughs> and it doesn't work. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go deal with these dwarves. Right, get out of here. Okay, so they got a bunch of dwarf warriors and Guthrie hold fast. Three, we've got three units of spider swarms, an arachnorock spider, death creepers, which are regiment of renown. They have regeneration. It's forest goblin spider riders. We have a lot of archers, spears. This is still going to be tricky because they're going to outlast us. This is going to be like wearing them down. It's still not cuter than your chubby cat who has many kittens. Uh, many children. Oh, Little kittens are adorable. We've got a cat which hangs around our house. It's uh, not our cat. I don't think it's anyone's cat, but we feed it. it. It's now sort of gotten to the point where it will allow people to pet it. So, occasionally it comes into the house, but it doesn't like being inside too far. Spider cat Halloween costume. Is that what the thing there? <laughs> oh boy. That cat does not look amused at all. Oh boy. Gonna have to Just one more one more one more image. This That is a really really grumpy looking cat. <laughs> it just kinda looks like the spider's eating the cat. Oh, <laughs> Okay. You three over there. You three over there. You over there. You over there. Uh, you can go here. You spiders. There's not enough trees here. Go over there. Arachnorok spider there. Tinnit four eyes does not have vanguard deploy. 
I'm going to put you over here with these spiders. Actually, forget that. I'm going to put you all together. You can be a massive part of spiders. And you can all benefit from his leadership. We're going to need that leadership because those spiders really have very low leadership. Okay. You, you, Tinnit, and the uh, Arachnorok spider. Those, and those. There we go. Let's have a look at our units. So we start off with an Arachnorok spider. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at it. It's adorable. I'm going to need a name for this thing. We're going to have to call it something. It's got a crooked moon banner at the back of it. Blah. We said spiders. Uh, we've just got goblin at the moment. We don't have forest goblins. So we're not in theme yet. Uh, where else? Ooh, Tinnit, Four Eyes. Where is he? There he is. He's a forest goblin. He's got a staff with a bad moon on it and a skull. Also, a feathered headdress. And some nifty paint on him. Uh, other goblins are hiding in there. Over here, we have all of our spiders. We have Snaggler Grobspit over here on his Arachnorok spider he starts off on. He's got a club? Yeah. Snaggler Grobspit and his mob, the Death Creepers, terrorize the forests of the Old World. So he starts mounted, which is quite nice. <clears throat> 45 armor, bronze shield. There's the Death Creepers, his band of uh, spider riders. They have bows and they're pretty good in melee. They have regeneration also. There's a normal forest goblin spider riders. And the uh, normal, the uh, spider swarms, which are usually summoned by the Regiment of Renown, but here we can make use of them. They're like, uh, what's it called? I don't know. Units of uh, die walls? Anyway. A platoon? Hmm, I haven't heard of that. <laughs> okay. Let's go teach these studies a lesson. Get up there and get up there. <clears throat> We're going to have to be uh, careful about this. So, Snaggler actually has Unspottable, which means he can hide. If this unit can hide at its current location, it will not be spotted until the enemy is very close. And he has Stalk, so he can move hidden in any terrain. He hides regardless of where he is, which is like, uh, I think it's like, uh, uh Deathmaster Snitch. Sneaking kits. Okay. Get up there. We's gotta get ya. Gotta get ya. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, start shooting at them. This is, uh, going to have to be what's called the, uh, refused front, I think. Where we're just going to have to pick them off and run away and then come and attack again and run away again. Over and over and over again. I've done that a few times. Okay. Get stuck in. Got a plan! I don't really like that engagement. Okay, hit there. Did do that charge. Get over here. Sakala, no! Rescue him. Maybe fast. I'm no 
Ah, uh, you caught them. Get out of there. This room will have ya. Fire! Okay, good. <laughs> Run away! Goblins! Goblins rule! Yes, yes! Moving fast! Get over here. Archers, move up. You archers, come over here. The spiders are running! No! Okay, hit them. Stop that. Attack those guys. How are you going? You can stab them! I don't want you to be doing a bit more than just sitting over there attacking those dwarves. But you are keeping them busy. Sneaky stabbing on those kids. Cast out of their boss. Good, we broke those dwarves. Where's our spiders? Spiders hunt down those dwarves. You can focus on them. Archers, get over here. I caught my goblins again. We need to get these away from them. You go over here. You go over there. Go over there. Okay, attack them. Yeah, he'll do it. Uh, get over here. Good, you're hunting down those dwarves. Attack them. Does sneaky stabbing attack uh, affect ranged? I don't actually know. Spiders have been stuck in me like. Turn around. Charge again. Good. They broke. Are they shattered? No, they're broken. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Go for them. I believe the counts for our spider units are rather wrong. Okay. He came and caught them. I don't know. Go there. Go there. Go there. You can come down this way. Go there, go there, go there, go this way. Good. Giant spider, come over here. Go and attack them. Attack them. I'm, I'm sorry if people are saying things in chat. I'm rather focused at the moment. Uh. Okay. No, you've used all your ammunition. That's fine. Okay, they've shattered. They've shattered. I'm the boss. 
Oh, where's our... There we go. Attack them. Attack them. Uh, go over here. Come around this way. Snaggler, I need you back here. You need to be giving your leadership to my guys. Over there. Keep coming this way. Keep coming this way. Okay. Oh, you gotta go to work. Okay, well, thank you for joining. Um. <laughs> Spell Kick. Um. <laughs> the spiders. Okay, if you don't have any arrows, I want you to charge in the enemy. <laughs> ah, spiders. Oh no. Yes, it's a bit messy, but yeah. it's working. Hey, actually, I think we've uh, shattered them. Huzzah! That actually didn't go too badly. I did say it could go possibly a little bit better, but. Hunt down that dwarfy git. Nob. This thing really wins battles for us. And it has archers on top of it too. But it will be so long until we can get another one. Nob. Animations are a little slow on it, though. Go after them! Oh god, why? Why is there so many of them? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Of course, our spiders also cause poison attacks, so... I don't know what's up with the count for the unit. It says 60. But obviously they've been, they've taken a lot of casualties. Like that's not 10. So there's something weird going on there with the unit count. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay, that's enough. End battle, close victory. But, we didn't actually lose any units completely. 120 kills for our Ragnarok spider. It held on pretty well. 134, 74, 21, 39, 55, 7, 40. Not too bad. Three of our uh, goblin units did not really do too much during the battle. But, they were being attacked by other dwarves. So they, they did do something in that they uh, split the dwarf army up. Meaning we could hit part of their army with most of, our, most of the rest of ours. Which is how we'll probably be doing things most of the time. Come on. Come on. It's loading. There we go. Okay, we also have fightiness to worry about. And that means we're going to get wire armies, and the wire armies are not going to be appropriate to the theme, because they're not going to be based on forest goblins. They're most likely going to have orcs and squigs and so on and so on and so forth in them. 
there's not much I can do about that. I suppose we could just assume there are other lads coming along for the fight. Um, loot and occupy. Wow. Why do we have 12,000 gold? Did we get that much from the battle? <laughs> uh, you can get... That's pretty nice. It causes fear. It causes fear for the death creepers. Um... I'm going to get specialist for you. So that we can have a higher chance of getting damaged walls, because that's very useful. Especially if we want to take Karak Hearn over there. You think I should play Oni or Darkest Dungeon? I have had a thought of maybe playing Darkest Dungeon. Don't own it though. It does look interesting. I do like the music in that game. And Oni. If that's a game I think you mean, that is... I've never played that. I remember watching someone play it on their laptop in high school. Um, that's the sort of anime-inspired game where you play as a uh, girl in like a cyberpunk setting, isn't it? Oh, oxygen not included. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. Wop wop, my age. You say ox you say Oni and my mind goes to a... What's that? My mind. <laughs> Let me just get this. This is what my mind went to. This is an interesting game. I haven't actually ever played it, but... No. Oni. This is a game I was thinking of. <laughs> Came out in two thousands, I think. I think it's like a third person action shooter action shooter game. Anyway. Uh Nazi no, Squigs, that's not gonna be useful for us because we're not getting them. Goblins and night goblins. I'll probably get that. If I'm that I don't know whether that will attack that will help our forest goblins. I suspect so, because they're just goblins. Tunnel boss, sure. Hmm. Gork will fix it. I'm gonna get gift to the spider god. Give us poison attacks. Which will be kind of pointless, because I believe all the forest goblin units come with poison attacks anyway, so... Yeah. So our armies will all have poisoned attacks, making the po spell rather useless. Do we get any unique buildings in Migdal on Galbarak? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what's my income? 797. I'm gonna replace you with something else. Enter. I have a... F I think I had a... Brief look at Oxygen Not Included. It's not a game which I've watched plays, uh, watched gameplay of or anything like that. Um, I think a while ago I was actually talking about a uh, roguelike, a first person shooter sort of roguelike type game set in space. And the game I was thinking of is called Void Bastards, which seems quite interesting. I might see whether I... I might think about getting that, maybe. We'll see. Uh, also, RimWorld. I like the look of. Hey, trolls! Um, okay. What am I going to get here? Can I get the boss tent? It's not level 2. Raiding stashes. Do we get any unique things up here? Nope. Uh, that's 400 up there. Okay, get idols. Oh, upgrade that actually. Let's upgrade it. 
And... Should I recruit another lord? I might recruit a second lord. Uh, 1,200. 125 upkeep. Let's see. Mash Throat Cruncher. Leadership plus 3 and immune psychology. Blazcak. Leadership plus 2, melee attack plus 2. And that's it. I like this one. The melee attack plus 2 is quite nice for the army. Who can I stand? Knight of a war boss. Okay, you can get just that. That. So you get a giant spider as a mount, and eventually an arachnorock spider as a mount. You also get ambusher, the nasty skulker, drip tripping tips, poison attacks for the entire army. Better night sneaking, tunnel boss, bellower, dodgy geezer, mortality. Uh yep, 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 yep. Spite of the bad moon. The bad moon offers protection to its weird and disgusting worshippers, shielding them from harm. Uh, augment. 21 seconds. Self affects allies in range. Plus 48 mi missile parry. An expert charge defense. <laughs> really? Okay. Um, hard to hit. Wah. Wow. Spider cult. We're going for all those. Ooh. An update. Is this an update? Just got. We came out for OVN. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to have a look at it afterwards. Um, get back here. Stand your ground. Okay. Sure. Get those gobbos. And when we get this up to level two, we'll get a boss tent for the obedience. As new custom Arabian flying carpets. Legendary Lord Jafar has one of his starting army. Ooh, really? Interesting. Some dervishes, of course, will now wear a stylish fez, and their look has been tweaked. Nerfed Gisales, the uh, Ara Arabian uh, Gisale unit. Reduced Chaos Dwarf faction bonus slave decline to minus 20 for minus 25%. Restricted some redundant Norskin buildings available in places like Black Crag. Removed Chaos Dwarf units for Rotblood starting, Rot starting armies. This was just flavor till we added them as a faction. As it added a dozen custom halfling hats that will be used by all halfling units. That was fast. I think they just added. They were just talking about them before. Reworked the colours and look of all the halfling units. I suppose maybe, maybe they won't be so green now. This won't be applying to this campaign. But maybe not. Not, not unless I, until I uh, reload the game. Uh, because this patch will be sitting in the wings while they, uh, while we're playing. Uh, two more turns. We're going to need this building. Goblin Tinker Bench, Goblin Workshop for the research. Because green skins are a bit silly and they have a whole bunch of their research locked away behind buildings. Um, What else was there? Reworked the colours and looks of all the halfling units. Created a custom mouth for the halfling heads missing them. I think there was like a hole in the mouth of some of them because they used to be dwarves with beards and they didn't have a fully modelled mouth. Added glow for Dread King faction icon in custom battles. Uh, yes. And all, for the modeling, all thanks, all credit and thanks to Chaos Robbie. Or is it Chaos Roby? Yeah, Chaos Roby. Robbie. Please. Yes. Please consider supporting him. He does a lot of very nice work for the modeling of the units. Okay. Go up here. Raiding camp. I'm going to get not a goblin rider, a spider rider. No, not a goblin wolf rider. If it was a spider rider, that'd be fine. Yes, I don't think we'll see the flying carpets actually. If I had just waited. This is the problem. This is why I didn't want to start with the Chaos Dwarves, because we might have been playing it and then they got an update which would have added a bunch of changes to them. It's probably going to happen anyway when I play them, but... It's how often the updates come out. As soon as I start play, they become obsolete. Hey look, Feldorf was taken by Skull Takers. we has got to have a big war! Oh, that green skin. Oh, the boys is coming for the fight. Yeah, let's get stabby. 
Forest goblins. He's a bit. He's a bit shroomed up. <laughs> yeah. Honey. Okay, Carrick Hearn has walls, but they don't have a garrison. We have Ulrich Rudolfsson here. Ulrich is the king of Carrick Hearn. Even among a race as steeped in custom and tradition as the dwarves, King Ulrich is regarded as a particularly devoted to his customs to the customs of his ancestors. He has maintained tradition in spite of having to deal with other races who come to trade with Carrick Hearn. I think that gives him upkeep penalties for uh, basically any more complicated unit <laughs> which uses any kind of technology beyond the crossbow. So I think cannons and all that are more expensive for him. So you have to build armies based on just like maybe iron breakers and hammers and all that. What's your message? Yeah. Peace treaty. Oh, because you're being attacked by the by the orcs over there. I just gotta fleece ya. It's a simple gift. Gold. Sigma preferred such things also. I take you for war you've got. Get away before I have the battle wizard burn you alive. Probably going to die in a turn because the uh death skulls or whatever they are are attacking you. Who are they? Yeah. Some green skin faction. Von Karstein declares war on Zufbar. Mootlin declares war on Von Karstein. Border Princes declare war on the Iron Claw tribe. And the Border Princes declare war on the Trolls. Sylvania declares peace with Blood Dragons. And we have a trespasser in Gashnag. Is he over here? Probably. Because Karak Angazar is a little weird and it like extends up this way. We get strict. Okay, move up. It's a little annoying having to constantly come out of raiding camp stance. Go up there. There's another point of interest there. Oh, apparently the greenskins was, weren't successful. What? What's that? don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like the uh, Sword of Cain, but it's not the Sword of Cain. Weird. I've got mods and they're doing things and I don't know what they do. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that in any of my other, in my playthroughs uh, with these mods. Hmm. Discord still thinks I'm playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Does it? Um, it might just be because it's the first thing in the, uh, in the, uh, editing I have. As I list the things I'm streaming one after the other. And I think it just lists the title as what I'm playing, rather than the actual game. Playing. Should have updated the, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just taking the heading. I could get rid of that. Tend to just finish Warhammer, uh, Vampire the Masquerade. Add it to Warhammer 2. Go to War Forest Goblins. It should be changed now. Yep, there we go. I saw it flick over. It's a second sword. Sure, Muscle Chaos adds to the game. Oh! Okay. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> also, welcome. Thank you for people <laughs> telling me what things are when I get scared by them. Um, demand teeth. We don't really need the money. Ain't worth worrying about. Get the leadership. The tribe's ready. You didn't see this. I did think maybe it was like Archaon's sword. Texture on it's a little wonky looking. So maybe it's like a target or something for the Chaos Faction to go to. What's this? Ah, uh, I gotta wait. We can't really afford to, uh... Nasty magic ready. What's it? We can't really afford to, uh... I'll get here. What you want? Fight the army 
because I want to save our strength for uh Karakun. Gashnag, what are you doing? Get away, that Get Goblin Tower Watch and get Boss Tent. And turn. A lot of people don't like it. Hmm. What's it for specifically? Is it just like there's something here which you can get if you uh, destroy the settlement? Or is it like a war target or something? I mean, you say second sword, so I suppose is it like a, a sword of power you can get from attacking Altdorf? Bat winged loony. I'm gonna fly! Do da loop de loop! Watch me go! And come for raiding plus seven percent. Now they'll see. Okay, Snaggler. You can get specialist level two. Tidit. You can get Herald of the Spider God. Creeping assault would be nice to have, but we're not there yet. Okay, Snaggler. 66% chance, damage those walls. Success! Yeah, damage walls level two. Attack. We're probably going to build some siege equipment anyway. Get up here. It's, a, it's like a second sword of Cain, but only Chaos can get it anyway. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, the visual effect is a little... I don't know. It's fine. Maybe if it only showed up for Chaos. Um... We're just encamping. Corruptions causing issues. Um, upgrade Mig Migdal von Galbarak. Okay. Uh, the is Karak Hearn going to attack us? I kind of hope they don't, so I can get my hero back in my army. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they didn't. Aha. They're scared of us. Like in all my years, I haven't seen so many green skins. So many spiders. Oh, I hate them. Wow. Oh. Wandering gits. A great migration of the tribes come to our borders, demanding shelter and wanting to join in the fight. Not normally a problem, but this don't smell right. Get out of here, gits. Great migration has been turned away. All right, migration. A great migration has arrived at your borders. I'm going to say, get out of here, because we need the public order. If that actually makes it neutral at the moment. Okay. Oh, you're suffering attrition? Oh, green skins. Oh, because, uh, animosity. Right, oh. So let's see. This increases fightiness by plus three. God, the fightiness mechanic. Uh, low fightiness is minus one leadership. That should go up still, so. Put you in there. And. Ducking. Get him! We'll build a few uh, siege towers. <clears throat> so that we can uh, assault the walls. Even though we've knocked some holes in it. I wonder if we'll get a trait like I've gotten playing as uh, Aguilan. 
uh, to knock more holes in walls. Because the dryads, when I use them for that, after a while, they actually get a, an ability. Uh, they get a trait. Uh, I think it's like Strength of Oak or something like that, which allows them to knock some more holes in the walls every time they succeed. I think they can end up knocking like seven holes in the wall? Rather than like five. It's just more gaps you can pour through, which is quite nice. Are you going up? Yeah, you should be. Okay. And turn again. Mm. This is sieging. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to take those settlements out from underneath the greenskins up there. Oh, Feldorf was actually taken by our uh, Wissenberg. Are we going to have to deal with Ackendorf? Or the Border Princes. Has Raid Shadow Legends paid me already? <laughs> is it because I'm doing all this raiding? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I know it, I think it's a game. I've seen people mentioning it, but... I don't know. It's out of my, uh, purview. <laughs> hey, we've got three breaches. Mm, I'm gonna wait one more turn and we'll get that second uh, group of two towers. Second pair of towers up. Ooh. Belsasar Galt's actually making a return. They still have lost their capital. They just have Steingard now. Poor guys. Ah, uh, they beat me up, and then they get beaten up in turn. There's always a bigger fish. Eric Far declares war on the trolls. Belsasar always gets crushed. He's kind of in an awkward position down here. I was really quite surprised they actually added Solund. I didn't even really, I wasn't even really aware of Solon to begin with, but from what I read, I believe it was a region which was, it wasn't really a province anymore. Like this area was split up to, wow, uh, Whistleland. So. Um, okay. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> Hey, green skit, hey, hey, studies. Here comes a bunch of those little green gits to deal with ya. We got a bunch of spiders in our back. He's gonna stab ya. Ooh, hey, look at that. The unique map. I don't. Remember this one. Is this the one with like beam cannons or something along here? Hmm. It's like a really defensive settlement. It's got like all these ramparts or something along here. Well, they're like earth wall, earth walls. The big forest over here. Okay. Oh, it's actually a different one than the one I was thinking of, but... Yeah. Look at that. It's like built underneath a, uh, built into the side of a mountain. It's pretty cool. This massive forest over here. There's some towers in the distance, too. Oh, a settlement over there. Have... Oh, I see. Okay, it's actually going down, not up. Have these tiers leading down. They have these 
Pits of lava. Pouring out of the settlement. Do these towers have cannons on them? Kinda looks like it. A gate with a ramp leading up to another gate. Into the fortress proper. That could actually be a bit of a problem. Two gates? And that's the walls which we destroyed. Great. So that's useful. How are we going to... Are these actually gates? Oh, I see. They're 100% damaged gatehouses. So they don't close, I don't think. Uh, We're going to have to attack from this angle. Because there's no uh, gate over there for our siege ram. Very interesting map. Yes, boss. Just gonna have to, like, line up to get through these, uh, gaps here. Okay. Oh, we can't actually put our guys down here? Oh, boo. What's the point of Vanguard Deploy if you can't Vanguard Deploy anywhere? We'll be able to put them, like, right up to against the walls. And Arachnarok, Tick, uh, what's his name? Tinnit, and Snaggler. Okay, you two, you two, and you. Get there, get there. I actually have to go through these narrow gateways as well, ugh. Yes, boss. Go over here. And there. And you can go there. What? I mean, it's a pretty damn nice looking map. Also, viewing it from outside, yeah. Really, really dug in. If you had catapults up here, you'd be able to hit them in the walls pretty easily, though. Because you'd be aiming downhill. So their walls don't really do much, unless the enemy are down here. Any higher up, and, uh... Wouldn't have too much of a problem. It actually seems like the towers do shoot cannibals. Yeah. Fused beer kegs, I believe they are. You're not shooting? You can't shoot at them, no one else is in range. Yep, yeah. okay. Okay. Go here. Go here. Damn. Arachnarok over there. I gotta keep my spiders over here because, uh, actually, we've taken this tower. Get up on the walls. Come over here. We're going to need you up on the walls. More than anything else.
Damn it! Oh, jeez. Flamethrowers. Oh, great. Flamethrowers. Um, how am I supposed to use the siege weapon now? This siege is uh, going to be much more difficult than I was first anticipating. Where? <laughs> Use the ram again, I suppose. Try and use the ram. Gork does want it. Okay, good. You're attacking the gate. Oh, oh that hurts. I mean, we might lose this. I don't know whether we'd be able to, uh... Help it out. Hey! Gates are destroyed. Get in there, spider! Get up there. You get up there. Get up there. Oh, just need to get up there. Get in there. Ooh. Uh, tactical retreat, you get. Wow. I do like this. Moving on the walls is a little tricky. Come on, hit him hard. Anyone outside? Anyone up? <laughs> Last one on the walls is a stinky kid. <laughs> oh, so many, so many goblins. Yeah. Where's Tinnit? Uh, somewhere. A snaggler. Oh, well, there's some units like stuck in the. stuck in the. Uh, stuck in the towers. <laughs>
Ah, just attack them. Ow. Ow. Got that. Those flamethrowers is really tearing our spiders apart. Come on, we need to break them. Just swarm them. Can the spiders use the, uh... No. Pfft. No. I was like, can the spiders use this? Siege tower. They can't. Fortunately. This is where I wish that uh, poison actually dealt damage over time. Rather than just lowering their stats and uh, tiring them out. Okay, are you dealing with them completely yet? Over here. How many of our guys are running away? Yeah. Hey, they're fear. They're terrified. Corollas. Good, good. Attack those Corollas. Hey, they're broken. Will we have enough for uh, the next part of the siege? There. Good, good. Hold back a bit. If you attack them, you're going to get shot by arrows. Look at the stage run! Look for the arrows! Okay. Halt. Charge. Ooh, hello, some more dwarf warriors. I have to get rid of you, Ulrich. Sneaky seven on Lies Kick. Lies Cack. Pardon. Look at him.
Looks pretty fearsome, armed with a big axe like that. <laughs> I do a spin! Oh yeah! Come on, he's just one dwarf! Poke him to pieces! Oh! Great! Boogly boogly, he tore, th he, he tore him down. You could try. Maybe you could stand like here and hit him with some with a vindictive glare. We are. Might have helped. Feeling full of arrows. Already hitting him. Magla! You need to deal with him. He's nearly dead. He's just one dwarf! Shattered. No, oh, my erector rock spine is broken. I want to lose you, Snagler. Come back. Deal with those guys. Use some guys, go over there. Activate this tower. 
I hope against those commanders. Poland? There he is. Hey, he's broken. That's good. Oh, oh. Come on. Stop attacking him because you might shoot the uh, giant sp the arachnid rock spider. Do we still not own the gate? Hey, there goes the Lord. Go over here. Get back here. Get back here, you cowards. Climb the gates again. <laughs> Pardon, this commentary is a bit short. I have... Well, you can kind of tell. It's uh, a bit tense. I feel like we're close to... Uh, what's it called? Close to just... Uh, shattering. Hey, they're broken. <laughs> it's just corralling our units to get them back on the walls again. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. And we've got these guys here still. The walls with great warriors. Spears. It. Get up, get up there. And we're out of magics. I want you down here. Uh oh, he has a Ragnarok. They shattered? No, they're broken. Oh, there goes Snaggler.
How many more dwarves are there? It's so close. Um, oh, you've run out of arrows. You've got a whole bunch of arrows still. Can you go over here? Go there. You go there. And go like this. Ooh, they're standing in the doorway. Quick! Shoot him! They're being stupid. Uh oh. A whole bunch of miners just charged in. Goblins for the win. Hopefully. This is, uh, being pretty, pretty close. And we might actually lose and then have to attack again if, after uh, replenishing our numbers, but... Okay, go over here. Like, we'll go over here. You know, just group up. You're broken. Ankle's broken. Are you going to rally? Minus six. Oh, not likely. Ugh. I'd like you to climb up the ladders rather than. Get over there. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here too. They're close to wavering too. Maybe my lord can make a difference. You believe in the power of the little goblins. Well, thank you. Believe in the power of the spider god. <laughs> uh, you rallied. Tin it four eyes. He has uh Oh bugger. Well Ah, it was a valiant attempt. Wop wop. Ah No indeed. 392 kills for Ulrich Ranolfs and 286 kills for our Arachnorok Spider. Ah, uh, that settlement is quite difficult to attack. There's very little frontage. We hurt them an awful lot. We did even get to attack their hammerers. That settlement is uh... Maybe if we'd waited longer and gotten more siege towers I would have been able to attack from multiple locations. Spread them out a bit more. Could have also had some more units. They won't be able to attack us back after this though. Because I'm pretty sure I'd be able to win against that with what I've got here. Ugh. And we didn't lose any units either, I don't think. Just replenish and go for it again. Yeah. Ugh. The nice thing is that uh, your archers don't tend to get as badly injured, so... They get all their arrows back. And they really don't have that much ranged. So we can just pepper them with arrows the whole time. Ah. Nice though that we didn't lose any of our units as I said. Oh no we lost those. Ah. Nasty. 
Ah, uh, you're going to suffer. Get the range of each other. Do you take me for a we did kill their lord. Oh, Rick Rolfson. Um. Let's see. How many turns will it be until we can get those back again? Actually. Are they? Might be a while. Oh, there they are. Level 16. Oh. The tribe's ready! Oh, hum. Uh, I'm going to combine your two armies into one. Ooh, I didn't know that. Fighting this penalty. Well, we're going to take fighting this penalty anyway. It's not a big deal. Uh... Attack them and doing uh, one. No. I didn't know that uh you could actually lose fighting us by splitting your forces up Don't like that. Reason. Okay, that's fine. Gonna take some attrition, but anyway. Can you occupy cities of goblins? Yep, you can. Just like normal green skins. Um, I'm playing to a theme here. Uh, we're playing as the Black Venom Tribe with Tidit Four Eyes, a mod added by uh, Wee's special mod, which adds well, Tidit Four Eyes and Snaggler Grobspit, a legendary lord and hero, respectively. And I'm playing to a theme of Forest Goblins. Uh, we currently don't have Forest Goblin units because they're a rank, they're a uh, Barracks 3 unit. Uh, with the mod Expanded Rosters Greenskins, uh, the Goblins version of that. Nasty magic but, yes. Okay, awesome. So, ooh. Ambush success chance plus 50%. Maybe we could do that. So, what's the goal of the campaign? Cause havoc. Kill things in honor of the spider god. I don't really play with a specific purpose in mind, with a specific goal in mind or, uh, you know, focus. I, I, sometimes. I mean, for the moment I'm just playing this, you know, for the fun of playing is forest goblins. Um, but we've just really started, so we took big, big, Dal von Goldbrack, and we're focusing on Karakhan so I can have an entire province. And then from there, I don't know. I'll ignore that. We'll probably attack Belthasar Gelt. I'm special. Uh. Let's see. Can get that. You, can get that. that. Do I want to do Quell Animosity? Not likely. The tribe's ready. That will hurt us, won't it? Yes, this will cause some casualties. Magic is real. Okay, back up a bit. And, uh... Reinforce. Quell animosity. And... Just get more gits. Okay. I just want to wreck stuff then, pretty much. You know, a thematic play as the forest goblins, lots of spiders, arachnorock spiders, and so on and so forth. Uh, my streams tend to involve showcasing a specific uh, mod or, you know, faction added by a mod. So, you know, we're currently, I'm currently just doing a short, a bit of a campaign as a forest goblins. Was in it four eyes, as I said.
Hmm. Kind of think we could probably deal with that. They only have one ranged unit. Very low in arm, low in numbers. I mean, we'll give it a try. Never. Previous campaigns I've done, we've shown off the Return of the Lich Master mod, playing as Heinrich Kemmler. Uh, I've done a campaign as the Halflings, added by Ovian Lost Factions. Another one as Araby, added by the same Ovian Lost Factions by Shaky Rivers. Um, I, I've done an Astalia campaign as uh, well, Astalia, added by Southern Realms by Kataf. You assume this is a Mortal Empires map? It is. Um, at the moment, I'm doing the Forest Goblins for the fun of it. Also, because uh, there's updates coming for the Chaos Tours added by well, Kataf and Shan Sa and uh, Shady Rivers for the Ovian Lost Factions. So I'm sort of waiting for them to be uh, done a little bit more before I actually do a campaign or something. Okay. You there, you there, you there, have some reinforcements, we should be able to deal with them. Uh, get there, and you get here, there we go. Oh, they all set up over there. They think they can beat us. They think they can beat the war. It's gonna prove them. They, they're wrong. I also play with a variety of other mods. Uh, ones which add unique maps, as we saw with Carrick Hearn, the GCCM mod, um, several other ones. Uniform heraldry. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, just mostly ones which add a bunch of extra units to factions, which which they would have had in the tabletop. Expanded rosters primarily for that. Nothing which majorly changes the game though. Um, like the game balance. Because I rather like the game as it is. So. Okay, we're gonna split you up. Like this. You can do that. That, you can do that. Okay, these hammers are going to be important to get rid of. Do they have any long beards? They've got some quarrelers, dwarf warriors, dwarf warriors, and miners. Nope. <laughs> Lovely goblin accent. We got the planes <laughs> in uh, in theme. Um. No, oh, I would like to get rid of those quarrelers. They've got longer range than my goblin archers. Blah. Okay, you're six. Go like that. Attack those guys. And... Yeah, you can attack those ones. Because they don't have shields. Get over here. Uh, attack them. That. Back here. Get out of there. Oh, dwarf warriors, our units really don't have the health to deal with you. 
don't want you getting stuck in melee. Ooh, they fled. Oh, they shattered. Cool. Go there. You go there. And come back around this way. I'll tin it! I told you! Oh. If you die. Go back this way. Go back that way. This way. Go there. Come on. Shoot those kids. Ah, uh, they're so confused. Get them stocks. Night goblin warbles. Their armor piercing. I, uh, I'm afraid that they'll tear my uh, Arachnorock spider apart. Now charge them. Oh, my lord didn't rally. Okay, they broke. Get out of here. Hey, spiders are back. Get up there. Get up there. Like there. Have war, have a two. Should you buy the first one? Um. Well, the first one's a fine game, in my opinion. It is at the moment. Warhammer Two is where most of the focus is. Is where all the focus is. Uh, I would consider Warhammer Two mostly as a uh, or faction expansion pack than a game. Though it is a game on its own right. But since it's not the focus of Creative Assembly. Uh, you'd be getting it mostly to be able to play as the Empire, as well as being able to get the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Mortal Empires campaign. It does have mods. I don't know how much they would have been updated. I assume there'd be some updating still going, but not as much as Warhammer 2. There is also the DLC for it, which adds Beastmen and Wood Elves. Which are pretty good. They come with their own campaigns, but... I can't say I've played those campaigns too often. At all, really. Once, maybe? Get out of there! Don't attack that guy. Get 
Attack these miners. They're shattered. Good. Oh, they've used all their ammunition. Go there. Oh, hello. Seven dwarves. Come on. Maybe you can kill some. Bring them to our hides. Oh, we killed one. Only six left. Five. They're shattered. Hooray. Get over here. My warriors are rallying. Who's run out of ammunition? You have. You have. Okay. Go there. You go there. Attack. Such a little amount of health. No. Great, you're out of ammunition. Oh, if I had a spellcaster, it would be so useful, but my tinnit fled. The coward. Ah. He loses the blessing of the spider god. Nope. Oh. Magla. Go up here. Get around. Charge. 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 Aha! Terrified. Spiders over here. <laughs> ah, there's just units all over the place, you know, as it is. Uh, they're broken, so I'll actually want to chase them down. Go over here, go over here. Spiders. Um, I want you to go over this way. Are we going to have enough arrows to weaken this other unit of dwarf warriors? Ugh. Get over here. Punch up. No, you can't deal with that. <laughs> Only the most glorious of battles here. Uh, um, charge up. Get over there. Get there. That. Go like that. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Would you 
You prefer the dwarves and the green skins from the first game, and I have a mod the dwarves can occupy certain regions. Like, if I use a mod that unlocks dwarves without the first game. Um, I don't think there's any mods which unlock the dwarves. I mean, the thing is, is that you're supposed to own the first game if you want to play as the dwarves in Mortal Empires. I don't know to what extent that is. I mean, there's some minor factions you might be able to play with. But not the uh, major dwarf faction. Um, Immortal Empires also. There's no regional occupation, so factions can occupy anywhere. Uh, there is a climate system. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've played Warhammer 1 that I can't remember how it is exactly. Uh, there's a region system which makes it unpleasant to inhabit certain areas of the map. Because it makes it more difficult to colonize. Hey, terrifying. Lovely. Okay, that's another unit down. Good all group up. Attack that room, Lord. I think maybe some of the mods might allow you to play as a faction, but you might not be able to recruit their units. I'm not too sure. Because I own all the DLC. It's not something which I've ever... Uh, experienced for myself. So I can't really say... One way or the other. Come on, we're just going to cycle charge this dwarf a bunch of times. No. Let me fast forward this. Bam. Nah. Let's play Punt the Dwarf. I haven't noticed. I've kind of lost my patience with the battle. We're now just going to be doing things quickly. <laughs> Get back over here. Get over here. Okay. Cool. Uh, slow it down. Uh, who's got that? Five. You've run out of ammunition. You're no longer needed in this squad. Just keep attacking him. <laughs> Punt. Punt. <laughs> oh, he's terrified. Punt. And he's shattered. He's broken. Well, finish him off. Punt. Punt. Uh-oh. No! Yeah, he's got charge defense. Ah, uh, punt. Oh, come on, he rallied? There is that unit over there. I would like to go for that, actually. One, go for that. Oi! Yee! No, 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 no. Run away! Don't let that lord hit you. Oh, good, you broke them. I was worried there for a moment. Chase them off the map. Maybe that will be enough to break the... 
Unless I have to cycle charge their lord now. No! Ah! Ow! Just stay here. He's not moving. So, oh, he's moving now. I'm the boss. <laughs> Epic music continues to play as the goblins are just killing a poor dwarf full of, uh, Arrows. It does rather. I suppose charge him again. Ye. And again. And again. And again. I mean, we can keep knocking him over. Ooh, we've got 94 hit points. He's actually managed to hit us a few times. Enemy Lord is dead. Don't let him kill Snaggler. Up, 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 he's wavering. Ha ha, victory. Ah. Well. Good lord, that went on for quite a while. Get out of here. Heroic victory. Good gravy. Ugh. And what was the victory in... What, 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 what worth was the victory? Because their garrison's going to be quite a bit... Their garrison's going to have recovered by now. <laughs> May as well just retreat and build up our armies and try and attack again. Uh, maybe I have to build a third army to be able to uh, get a few more goblins into the fight. Attacking the walls really didn't help as much as I was hoping. Is that... A uh, settlement... Really doesn't have walls which I can destroy like that. That is most unfortunate. I mean, we, it means our, our fighting this goes up. Get a bunch of money for that. Hey, we got a wand of jet. It's useful. Okay, uh... Eight captives. There we go. You gonna attack us again? No? Okay, ooh. Already? Karaza Karak, Confederate Zufbar. I suppose it's turn 22, but... Voluntary. And a Wand of Jet. Talisman of Endurance. Hey, that's pretty nice. I'm going to give that to... 
Lieutenant Four Eyes. Because he has no armor. Snagline. You can get from the shadows. We don't have the death creep. I'll get that now, anyway. Snagler's foes whisper that he and his spider riders can creep right out of the very shadows, and perhaps it is true. Charge bonus, plus 15. Charge bonus, plus 15 for death creepers. We don't have. Might be nice if that applied it for spider riders, but maybe that would be too powerful. Um. Yeah, I'm going to get creeping assault. Minus five turns to enemy siege hold out time. We could just... Attrition them. Um, and you can get Inspiring Presence. Great and I'm going to remove those. You can go to Karak. Uh, Karak and Gazar. And you can move down here as well. Because I, I kind of want people to uh, replenish more than anything else. Do I get a boss shack? How much money do we have? 5,000. Um. Goblin Tinkerer Bench. We need that to be able to get up to the big lever. Because we want this. And this. And this. These are the only ones which will be useful to us. Everything else is, uh. Well, anything which will improve goblins. So, yeah, let's get that, maybe. Uh, actually, no, let's get this, because we can get spider riders if we build that up there. So, get that. And build an orc guardhouse. That will allow us to defend Migdal, Migdal von Galbarak a bit better. <laughs> and Bashamates. Use some goblins that can hold a front line. <laughs> uh, which goblins would these be? <laughs> Mythical goblins. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, most of the times when I fight as a goblin, it's pretty much this. Just split your army into multiple parts. Try to take out parts of the enemy's army at a time. Which is in interesting. It's not something you really do with the other factions. Okay, you can go up there. You can go in there. Get that. Level 2. And we'll need 4,000 for level 3. And you're just going to have to... Ooh. Combine these. And you're going to need to get more... Goblins. Yep. But that's fine. Okay, enter. Ugh. I think I'll build up my army again. And then uh, I'll call it for this session. Ugh, since we've gone for a bit longer. We've had, I might end another turn or two, and I'll call it. Uh... Because I'm quite tired. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. Even though I, uh, planned on getting sleep, I didn't end up actually falling asleep. Should it? Uh, anyway. Um... Border Princess declares war on the Ugma tribe. That is a Trolls faction. Different from that Trolls faction up there currently. Make it bigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we failed it. Well, you know, we tried. Warboss. Warboss, 
We encounter the Ugma tribe? Are you the Ugma tribe? You are. Uh, hey guys. Fresh impact. Ooh. Uh. Skull takers. You caught me in a non murdering mood. Less chance. Uh. Military Alliance? You only own Fort Sol, do you? Yeah, it looks like you only own Fort Sol, actually. Not aggression pact. This is his. If you two were bigger and stronger, you'd be more interesting. I wonder how that works for them, because they wouldn't be able to recruit any units. Um, get those goblins, enter, and I think come around the next turn I am going to call it this session. We've had a bit of success, we had a near success, pretty damn close. Ugh. Ah, but, well. Oh boy. Green skin magic. The, uh, or the, uh, little war is very, I don't know. It's not for dealing damage. It's for, like, buffing your units and debuffing the enemy. Gork will fix it would be useful. Though I went with the unique spell we get. Oh, great. Wax and Wayne. Uh, where is it? This one. I mean, we get Sneaky Stab and Vindictive Glare. Gork will fix it. I don't think we get Itchy Nuisance. Night Shroud. Which used to be a debuff. That used to lower the enemy's, uh, sight. So you could stop their um, archers and quarrel archers from shooting at you. And Curse of the Bad Moon, which is a Vortex spell. I think it's pretty good. Got a nice debuff on it, but again, it's it, it's hard to focus on things. Whereas the uh, Big War is more useful. I mean, Brain Burster is like Vindictive Glare. Brain Burster is very nice. Fists of Gork is nice for the buff and magical damage. Headbutt, here we go. And uh, Foot of Gork, of course. A lot more, lot more damaging spells. Whereas the uh, Greek I mean, goblins get more just buffs to the defense. Mm. I mean, Gork will fix it. It slows a unit down. It doesn't debuff them in any, though. Sneaky stab and do. Yeah, plus 24 melee attack, plus 25% armor piercing damage. That's not too bad. I remember when this was area of effect. It was much more useful. Um. Get creepy crawlers. Increase the Arachnorock spider's melee attack. Team. I'm glad we still have this. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, what should we call it? Uh... Ooh. There we go. This is what I called it in my uh, original game. Like, itty bitey. There we go. Appropriate name for a giant spider. Um. So, yes, we're going to probably build up your army. Build up your army some more. And we're going to have to try and uh, siege Carrick Hearn once again. My answer's a clan and hold. Could possibly go for Akendorf. That would be easier to take, and it would give us a uh, capital. The nation calls. 
Problem Your with that. Gods and dubious masters have no place here. There's not actually a problem with that. They have no allies. And they are at war with the trolls here. We took Matorka. Yeah. Okay, we might go for Akendorf next time and use that to build up our forces, then go and attack Karakur. Because I just need spider riders and night goblins. Not that these night goblins are going to be forest goblins are going to be making a big difference. Look at poison attacks. 50 leadership, 33 speed. But let's see. 25, 50, 33. 25, 50, 33. <laughs> Uh, 20, 26, 27. 20, 26, 25. So they have slightly higher weapon strength. And charge of 8. Uh, charge of 8. Yep. Pretty much exactly the same. 80, 75. They even just cost, like, 5 more gold. They also have, as I said, poison attacks. Strider too? Yeah, Strider. And possibly also hide in forest. I mean, I think they all have that, but... Yep, hide in forest. We have that as well. But who can't hide in a forest? Strider would be useful if the uh, maps in the Empire had more forests on them. Anyway, I will save it here. And we'll call it for this uh, first session of Warhammer 2 Total War Forest Goblins. As I said, I'll probably only do like Five sessions of this, maybe. It depends on whether the Chaos Dwarves get updated in the meantime, because this is sort of a tide over until then. But, yes. Oh, look. Elzazar Gelt has Grenstart. They took that from uh, Von Karstein's. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. So, we had some attacks, lost our s spider riders. I'm gonna want to get those back again. Because they add quite a bit of toughness to us. Especially with all the bonuses we get. They improve, well, the cycle charging they afford is very nice. The archer units, not too useful during a siege though. Just gonna have to swamp them with goblins. Ah well, that'll all be next time. So I'll thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you'll join me again. Stop the recording here.